For the record, could you state your name and occupation and then describe the events you witnessed on the morning of the 16th of August, 1819? I am William Harrison, a cotton spinner from Oldham. On the morning of the 16th of August, 1819, I saw John Leese with many others going from Oldham to the reform meeting. I lost sight of John when he joined the crowd, for there must have been 6,000 of us, men, women, children. We were all decently dressed in our best clothes and each of us were merry in hopes of better times. We set off for Manchester, marching in time with the band, and some of us carried flags. Beautiful things they were. One was made of silk and had the words Hunt and Liberty inscribed across it. When we finally arrived at 12 o'clock, the whole of Manchester was out upon St Peter's Fields. As we joined the meeting, the Manchester reformers gave us a great cheer, and half one was very proud of the good order we showed that day. Many more people followed us to the field. Arm in arm, they came from Ashton, Leeds, Saddleworth and Stockport. Each town brought a lively band and had their own colours flying. Together there must have been 20 flags. They were arranged around two carts which had been pushed together to form a stage. I was struck by the truth of one flag in particular. It said, taxation without equal representation is cruel and unjust. How large was the crowd and what happened next? Um, by one o'clock there were 60,000 of us. Yeah, we, we all waited in expectation of hearing the great orator Henry Hunt speak about obtaining a reform of Parliament. Soon Mr Hunt and other speakers arrived in an open carriage and got upon the stage. There was much excitement among the reformers and loud applause from the crowd. Hunt said in his booming voice that he was very pleased to see so many people arrive peaceably and quietly. And this was true enough for there was no tumult or disturbance, and all day they come that day in good humour. Yet at that very moment, there was great alarm and surprise from people in all quarters of the meeting. I saw the Manchester Yeomanry Cavalry coming up at real gallop. I heard one of them shout, Damn you, I'll reform you! The cavalry began slashing their sabres, cutting and slaying all before them. I saw the constables come into the crowd too. They were attacking the flags and beating the people with their staves. All was confusion. And what happened to you? Three times they struck at me, but I ducked their blows. I was then pushed back by the crowd as people tried to escape. I was squeezed against the iron railings of the churchyard. I thought I should have been killed, but I managed to escape. I was lucky that day. And what about your friend? My friend John Leese was much closer to the stage than I. John was terribly cut by the yeoman he was trampled by their horses. He managed to get himself back to Oldham, but he was in dreadful condition. He could do no work and was confined to his bed. When I saw John last, he was white as a cap. He told me he'd been in the Battle of Waterloo, but he never was in such danger there as he was at the Manchester meeting. For at Waterloo there was man to man, but at Peterloo it was downright murder. After languishing for three weeks, John... Sorry, John died from the fell cuts and bruises he received at Peterloo. The newspapers say 15 people were wantonly killed and many hundreds cruelly injured. And what do you think will happen now? I hope justice comes swiftly to those armed ruffians. The cursed yeomanry cavalry and the Manchester magistrates. It is my belief they had planned to attack us reformers all along. Yet the present ministry have done nothing for us. Instead, the government have sent their thanks to the magistrates and the soldiery, and they've confined Henry Hunt to prison. Many in Oldham have gone into mourning for poor John Lees. I pray that his death will at least help the cause of universal suffrage. More and more, folk are beginning to see that no government which truly represents the people could suffer such a heinous crime as this to go unpunished. We have no member of parliament to represent us here in Oldham. A town of 20,000 souls, nor is there a single MP for Manchester, a city of over 100,000. Many people are beginning to see that this must surely have to change.